Vortex, did anybody ever tell you that driving on the interstate is really, really scary? Because if nobody's ever told you that, you need to be forewarned, okay? Um, I said a prayer, and that is how we got back on the interstate and heading in the right direction. But holy fucking shit, I am absolutely terrified right now. <laughs> You're also going extremely slow compared to the rest of the drivers. You know, when you're putzing around going 50 miles per hour, um, when the speed limit is 70 miles per hour and it's rush hour, you know, that <laughs> that's a clear indication that you might not have as much awareness as you'd like to pride yourself on. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, we know that some of this is true, if not all of it. <laughs> so, uh, I think we're okay though. We're just gonna stay in this lane and we're not gonna move until we uh, get to our exit. But we're actually going the speed limit, y'all. You should be proud of us. We're going 70 miles per hour. Yeah, now there's like nobody around. Ooh, five oh. I wonder who they're pulling over. Oh, it's a truck. I'm sure that truck is owned by a white person. So whatever they keep saying in the media is probably a bunch of horse shit. <laughs> Dude, there is some uh, guy that got patted down and they had to like drag him out of the truck and all that like uh, apparently like four cops had to get him out of the truck they're searching his vehicle white guy we have to talk about when these things happen since everybody seems to think it's all about race I mean it is sometimes sometimes it's about race but other times it's not it's about other things um but anyway, I, uh, I had a really great conversation with a friend of mine tonight, a friend of mine who does not share my beliefs towards President Trump. Very few people do. But, uh, it was cool. I got told that certain things sound racist, once again. And I tried to tell him, look, I don't have a filter. This isn't about what you say it's about. <laughs> but he makes interesting points. And I realized tonight, you know, it's really important to have friends who say stuff that you don't agree with because that allows you like to develop an even greater understanding of, of why you think the things that you do and we got into an argument over vaccines he said something I told him flat out I was like that's fucking retarded and then he got mad because I used to work retarded. And I was like, dude, it's not offensive. <laughs> I don't get offended by like petty words. I get more offended by people trying to control me. But I don't think that's what he was trying to do. I think for a lot of people, all the, the policing language, you know, they, they do that for their ego. They do that for clout. They do that because they want attention. They do that so they can pat themselves on the back. It's very, very narcissistic, you know? But there are a lot of people that genuinely care about things. 
and they think that that's the way you're supposed to care like that's what you're supposed to do to prove that you care that's what you're supposed to do um, to show your understanding or your compassion or your empathy or whatever um, but I don't want to be hurtful But at the same time, it's like if something needs to be said and it happens to hurt somebody, you know, that's not necessarily my fault that somebody was hurt by something that I said, you know, because that might be the fault of their candy assery. You know, that's always a strong possibility these days. But constructive criticism is always a good thing. My friend always gives me that. But yeah, I guess I'm going to, once again, get back on my laptop and look up even more information about President Trump uh, because I don't want to be wrong about him. If he's a piece of shit that's just selling out America, I want to know about it, okay? I think that there's definitely a problem with brainwashing in this country and it's really not limited to politics but since everything's political then it's just so easy to control people based off of some idea this idea that you're doing something positive this idea that you're the good guy I don't think that there are good guys like even Trump like I really don't think all the things that people think that I think about him. <laughs> I just know he can't possibly be one of them because if he was one of them, then the, why are they going out of their way to vilify him? Like I said, I watch reactions. I watch reactions that nobody else is watching and then they think I'm crazy because I pay attention to stuff like that, you know? I don't think that's crazy at all. I think that's what a smarter person does because nobody else is looking at that shit. But who am I, right? But you know what's funny is that my friend who's on the left, like he's a socialist, he's... Uh, saying that, that Christianity is socialist. Now, it's not that I don't think that there's some truth to that. Uh, just the idea of, of people helping each other and being a community that functions as such and goes out of their way to, to do what's right, you know, that's positive. That's positive. Um, I think that it's a little unrealistic to think that like you can force society to be like that. I wish that that were true, but unfortunately it's not. But it was cool because, like, yeah, we agreed on way more than we disagreed on. But he does not understand whatsoever why I support President Trump. Like, he just cannot wrap that around his head. But my friend is not fucking stupid, okay? He's not stupid. He's not even liberal, really. But... Everything's so complicated. Nothing can ever be simple. But yeah. I started crying when I was over there. <laughs> I started crying about my guilt and shame. <laughs> and I kind of figured that would happen eventually with him because he's a lot like me. I think that I think that he has the same thing that I do. That's why we get along so well. Even though we have different views. I mean, who gives a fuck? I don't, I don't care about shit like that. I just don't, you know? Oh 
shit, you know what I realized? I'm carrying. <laughs> Maybe I should follow more of the traffic laws. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I, I kind of have a half ounce on me. It's, it's not a big deal though, because technically, uh, you just get like a ticket for that shit now. At least in Davidson County, but we're not in Davidson County now. We're in Williamson. Yes, yes, let's put that seatbelt on. All right. We're gonna pretend to put it on. We're not really gonna put it on though. We're just gonna throw it over like a purse strap. <laughs> That's what we do. But uh, yeah, 21 minutes left. You think you can turn the light off? For some reason, I feel like we're going to the airport. Every time I. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that I'm on the interstate, like, and it's like around this time, like I've stayed up so late that it's early now, it's early morning, I always think I'm going to the airport. <laughs> I haven't been to the airport in so long, but for whatever reason, this particular uh, segment of time really reminds me of driving to the airport. <laughs> I think it's just the sky. This is the sky on the interstate. I don't know. You might just be stoned too. That too. Yes. That's always true. All right. 